Well, uh, the first school, Jacaré Jiu Jitsu, Fabio graduated, graduated in uh, 1989, but before that he was uh, teaching in a club over there. And then we joined Force, and Gigi was teaching at Strike, another school. And then we decided to join Force and form the alliance around 1993, 92 to 93, something like that. Of course, there are a lot of you know, stuff that make Alliance a, a special team, but first of all, I would say that our unit makes a difference. We've been together for over 30 years, training, teaching the same method. So I think that's that's a really, really strong point to make Alliance what it is today. I don't I don't see this difference between old school and new school. I believe the Jiu Jitsu is one thing, uh, and Jiu Jitsu keep evolving every day. So the people that start to give excuses that prefer the old school, in my opinion, it's those that don't really want to train and you know keep evolving. I, I think Jiu Jitsu developed a lot in, in many years, and uh, the people that uh, uh, follow this kind of development of Jiu Jitsu still know everything. And many people don't uh, follow this development of Jiu Jitsu, maybe stay in the old school. But I think so. The same, Pablo. Old school and uh, new school is almost uh, close. To, uh, talk, I walk together. How long have you all been training Jiu Jitsu? When did you start Jiu Jitsu? Well, I started when I was around 12 years old at the Gracie School. So many more years later, after I graduated Black Belt in 1982, uh, my master passed away, Halls Gracie. And I was on my own. My first school was Jacare Jiu Jitsu. And that's when I met these two guys over here. So we know each other for over 30 something years, you know. Yeah, I started at 13 uh, at Jacare School. And is much different. older, yeah. much older than me. And <laughs> was, about, <laughs> was about 16 at that time. But yeah, we, we, we started pretty, pretty, you know, pretty young. And we are really fortunate to have Jacare as a master and guide us to where we are today. The big difference of Alliance is that uh, when we start to train for Jacare, start training Jacare, Jacare uh, to uh, show for us like a uh, different kind of style of the life, the Jiu Jitsu style. Where, where did your nickname Jacare come from? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Tell the truth, huh? Katenji. <laughs> Tell the truth. Well, <laughs> <laughs> I, I used to, to love those uh, Lacoste shirts with a little alligator. And I had a collection of uh, the shirts, you know, and then the older guys taught me to call Jacaré. And Jacaré in Brazil is not a really good nickname, you know, it's for the guys without the front teeth, something like that. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, you guys can, can choose which story uh, you want to you wanna believe. <laughs> well, that's the truth. And then, you know, I got very upset and then, you know, the nickname stick with me. And when I opened my first school, I didn't know what name I was going to name the school. And I was talking to Carson because uh, one of the first tournaments of the day that I put them to compete, you know, we had to find, you know, a name, you know, for the school. And I asked Carson, and Carson said, man, why you don't put Jacare Jiu Jitsu? I said, man, nobody's going to knock at my door, you know, Jacare, come on. I know, that's your nickname, you know, and then my first school was Jacare Jiu Jitsu. Uh, I think that self-defense is a very, very important part of Jiu-Jitsu and should be taught in the beginning of the journey. And that's what we do in our academies, in, in the whole Alliance academies all over the world. But the Jiu-Jitsu that they try to separate from self-defense uh, is the same people that try to separate the old Jiu-Jitsu and new Jiu-Jitsu. Uh, I think the, the evolution starts from the self-defense when nobody knew anything. And then the people start to know 
what's coming and try to develop another technique to 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 counter that technique that you know and each step each new step is a new technique so jiu jitsu is keep evolving every day yeah uh also my understanding on that uh, topic a specific topic is like when the guy goes to your school and he's looking to train jiu jitsu but he already knows what jiu jitsu is about then it's okay you can pretty much you know get the guy and put the guy in class he's he will understand but the guy that steps inside the school he don't know anything and what is the relation he has you know how you're gonna put that student in class with the other guys he don't know what's going on he see two guys over there like two cats you know one on top of each other but if we start with simple things okay we start you know you throw a punch over here a block go around your waist, take you down, get to the ground. And that's that connection, like Fabio said, you know, would be much easier for the guy to understand. And that's pretty much, you know, how Jiu-Jitsu should be taught. But there there are some guys, you know, uh, for instance, you know, guys that have Jiu-Jitsu and they claim to be self-defense and blah, 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 blah. If in a real situation on the street, the guy don't know self-defense, I believe more of my students that spar every day and, you know, grind every day, you know, he's going to have a much better chance in a street fight than the guy that do some BS self-defense and, you know what I mean, and do some moves and, you know, defend how to escape from a knife or things like that, some crazy things. I believe more in our students, you know. Than these guys, but we teach whatever we think is necessary for the guy, you know, to learn. Thank you so much for speaking with us today. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.